everybody. So today I want to discuss something that might sound very counterintuitive, but it's about exercise. And obviously we need to exercise to maintain a healthful lifestyle, to optimize our health, to increase blood circulation for heart health, and of course to maintain a healthy weight. But the problem is not all exercise is the same. In fact, some exercise actually can sabotage your health and do the opposite effect and not reverse aging, but rather actually exacerbate aging or accelerate it. Because for example, too much running, like too strenuous activities like running or I don't know, I'm not a fitness expert, so I'm not gonna list every single type of exercise, but basically any rigorous exercise that's done too long, too often can, very, can be very taxing on the joints and the whole body systemically. So we wanna make sure that if we want to um, support healthy aging and maintain a healthful weight or a healthy weight, and have really good skin, we wanna make sure that we avoid strenuous exercise but stick with light to moderate exercise like low impact aerobics, brisk walking, Pilates, yoga, things like that, even dancing. But if we do things that are just too cardio intense, that can actually exacerbate aging. So I'm saying that with absolute truth and honesty. I mean, you can even ask doctors that will tell you, even functional medicine doctors that will tell you that too much rigorous exercise can actually accelerate aging, be very taxing on the body, can age the body, and actually can cause sagging skin in the long term. Defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? And, and I'm not knocking any industry, I'm not knocking any particular human being, because you know I profoundly respect all different disciplines and athletes. So this does not mean every single person that engages in you know contact sports or rigorous running like uh, I don't know, cross country or you know any, any of those people look to each their own. This is more of a generalized statement. And a lot of doctors, as I said, have backed this up and supported it with lots of evidence and studies. But again, you know, you have to find a workout that works best for you. I would say three, four times a week, maybe five times a week of exercise should suffice. But there are workouts that can actually promote sagging skin, running too much, as I know running is not very good on the joints, um, just the kind of going up and down, up and down, up and down, where the skin can kind of just keep moving like that, which is sort of reinforcing that sagging. So just be mindful of that. Again, we need to exercise to maintain and optimize our health, coupled with a very healthful diet, but try not to overdo it. I just remembered I was going back to my point. I actually lost my train of thought before. So, um, you know, I have noticed that certain like uh, candidates or people who do like the bikini competitions or bodybuilding, again, I'm not saying all of them, but some of the, the women in particular, even some men, they tend to look older and they tend to wrinkle faster. So sometimes it, it could be a, a combination of their diet or the, the rigorousness of what they're doing day after day after day. It's sort of, you know, abusing the body to an extent and thereby abusing the skin. Again, it's case by case. I'm not saying that's every single person in those industries. I have an utmost respect for athletes and for people who really care for their health and their body. But what I'm saying is just be mindful that you're not doing anything to the point of compromising your beauty and your health and your skin.